When an iPhone keeps restarting again and again and again, us nuts call it a boot loop. And even though it might look a little scary, but trust me, it's not and it's very common unless you have a physical damage on your device. From what I've experienced, a software bug is the main culprit that puts a device into a boot loop, but that's not the only thing that can cause this issue. So watch this video till the end because we'll be having a look at all the things that can help you to fix your device and get it out of the boot loop. A restart can fix a lot of issues, but when you're not able to restart your device, that's when force restart comes into the picture. See, this is a solution that you should apply when you're not able to see your home screen. That means you're not able to access your home screen. I would say this is one of the quickest and the most effective method that can get your phone out of the boot loop. In order to do that, press and release the volume up button, followed by the volume down button, Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. People also tend to stuck in the boot loop if their device's wireless carrier is facing any issues. So chances are if your network service provider is facing any issues, that will also be reflected on your device. But thankfully, one of the easiest and the most reliable method is to just pull out your SIM card and done. It's, it's that easy. I actually feel sad for iPhone 14 Pro users in the US. So firstly, just shut down your iPhone. After that, by using the SIM ejector tool, pop out the SIM tray and remove the SIM card. And now try to restart your iPhone without the SIM card. If you're able to successfully boot onto your home screen, that means you found the culprit that was causing this issue. And now go meet your network service provider and describe them this issue. And now that you have somehow managed to get inside of your home screen, just, just follow these steps. See, if this boot loop thing has started occurring after you installed some new application on your device, then chances are that that particular application is the host that brought this issue to your device. So just go ahead and get rid of that application. Mind you, outdated applications can also cause some issues. They can just crash unexpectedly and will make you feel like your device is not able to perform well. So if you have some applications that haven't received love from their developers in a while, just go ahead and uninstall them. And now talking about the remaining applications on your device, just go ahead and update them. And in order to do that, all you have to do is just long press on the App Store, tap on Updates, then under Upcoming Automatic Updates, tap on Update All. If your device is caught up into the boot loop after you updated to the latest iOS version, then chances are that cause of all of this trouble that's happening to you is a software bug. And the right way to troubleshoot a software bug is to update your software. Just open Settings, tap on General, Software Update, now follow the usual process to download and install the software update. And in case there's no software update available, I'm sorry my friend, you have to reset your device. But before completely erasing all of the data on your device, there's one thing that you can do. Head into the settings of your iPhone, tap on General, Reset, and then tap on Reset All Settings. This solution may sound a bit radical, but this has proven itself from time to time. So why not give it a try? Your device will take a while to process the reset command and all, and will also reboot in the process. So just hold on for a while. And if this also doesn't fix the issue for you, you have two solutions left. First is to raise all content and settings, after which it is not recommended to restore from a backup file as the bug or issue might also get carried forward through backup. I know this is a little problematic and you lose all your precious data, but at this point, it is what it is. If this fix also doesn't work for you, then I want you to take a step back. Just, just, just take a step back and think closely if your device has met some nasty drop in recent times. A worn out battery or a damaged motherboard can also put a device into a boot loop. But since it's not advisable to unscrew your iPhone yourself and trying to figure out what the problem is and then trying to play around with some internal components, since you're not some professional, just go ahead and visit the Apple Authorized Service Center and let the professionals take care of the issue. So that is it. Do let me know in the comments down below which step worked out for you so that other people can also prioritize that particular step. If you're watching this video till this point, I know you liked it, which is why I would really, really appreciate if you would express it by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to take a deeper dive into everything Apple, then you can do that by downloading the iGeeks blog app. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.